we present a method for hyperparameter optimization in black box image processing. Today, we are surrounded by imaging systems in our own personal phones, vehicles, and scientific applications. Nearly every commodity imaging system we directly interact with or indirectly rely on either uses black box hardware image signal processing units known as ISPs or propriety software. Here is a typical imaging chain that could be found in a self-driving vehicle. Photons from the scene enter the optics, which focus them on the sensor. Then, the sensor digitizes the incoming light and produces a raw measurement, which is fed as input into an image post-processing pipeline, the ISP. Most hardware and software-based ISPs are configurable black box computing units, meaning that Although their behavior is configurable by a set of user-adjustable parameters, the details of their inner working are not revealed. As such, a common workflow involves adjusting parameters in order to maximize some performance metric. The standard industry practice is to rely on golden eye experts to adjust the parameters manually. But this process is extremely time-consuming and can take up to several months of work per problem. Furthermore, there is no guarantee that the parameters found are optimal in any local or global measure. In addition, this process is only feasible for white box systems. For black box implementations, experts cannot rely on domain knowledge. In this work, we present a fully automatic system to optimize the parameters of black box hardware and software imaging processing pipelines according to any arbitrary application-specific metric. We develop differentiable proxy functions to model these imaging pipelines, which allows for high dimension parameter search with stochastic first order optimizers. Here is the imaging system from before again. To train our proxy models, we first acquire data from an imaging system by randomly sampling its ISP parameters using Latin hypercube sampling. To do this in an automated fashion, we propose a hardware setup consisting of a screen, shown on the right, that is placed in front of the hardware in the loop camera system. Having acquired these samples, we next train our proxy model, which is shown here. We define this proxy function to be a convolutional neural network and train the model by passing in unprocessed images and ISP parameters as input. The output images of the ISP using those parameters are the labels. The second stage is to use this differentiable proxy function to optimize the parameters for a given task. By passing in an unprocessed image into the ISP proxy function, which is now fixed, and calculating a loss from its output compared to a ground truth with a target quality, we can backpropagate gradients to optimize for a set of parameters that when applied to the original ISP will give us images with the target quality. The final parameters are then used at runtime on the hardware ISP. Next, we visualize the second stage of our proxy model for image quality. Here we show our proxy model optimizing for parameters and how it eventually finds parameters that produces the desired target output. And here is a different target region that the proxy model also successfully optimizes for. We apply our proxy model to various different imaging applications and show state-of-the-art results in each of them by optimizing hyperparameters. We demonstrate optimization for several different ISPs, for example, ISPs that accurately recover natural images, ISPs that are tuned to produce deliberately unnatural images, ISPs that outperform the state-of-the-art in low-light imaging, and ISPs that are optimized for object detection. Please see the paper and supplement for qualitative and quantitative imaging results. We next demonstrate that our method can be applied for optimizing the output of an ISP to improve object detection results. Here we show our proxy model improves the parameters for an object detection pipeline. At the bottom, we see the system being trained on task-specific images. The graphs on the top show the learning improvement over time.
With a trained ISP, the system produces qualitatively and quantitatively improved detection performance. Here, we show nighttime driving. And here we show daytime driving. The ISP tuning improves false positives and drastically increases bounding box tightness. In conclusion, we propose a method of using differentiable proxy functions to optimize hardware and software ISPs. We qualitatively and quantitatively outperform state-of-the-art benchmarks in both hardware and software.